just soaks in all the uh, all the potions on the map, so like it's not super good, but I mean it's still pretty decent. Um, sword, secret sword. I mean, eh, it's it's okay. I don't think it's. I like we don't really need it for the build that we're going. It could still work though. It still work pretty well. Yo, 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 everybody, what's going on? Is Lodi's here back with another Nordic Ashes run. Hopefully, y'all have been enjoying the content. If so, make sure you guys tap that like button down below. And if you guys are new to the channel, it does show that 98% of you guys are not subscribed, so make sure you guys tap that subscribe button down there. And I do greatly appreciate it. You guys can also press that bell notification to find when nobody goes live as we do upload every single day. But without further ado, let's jump right on into this. We're going to play some Axel Door, I think, this this run. See when we can get it happening. Um, I'm going to run Sword once again. Hopefully we can make uh, something happen here on Alpine. Um, on hard mode. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just see how things go. Um, we might run Stormbringer in the next episode just to um, get Axel Door knocked out. Um, but I'm not sure, um, <clears throat> there's a couple, couple ways we can go about this. Um, we could either run Axeldor, um, Hansi, um, we can definitely run, uh, quite a bit of, uh, Amaranth since, um, she's still on Midgard, so we could run a quite a bit, um, on her. I, I just don't want to run back-to-back-to-back -back -back runs with her, because I feel like that could just get very, uh, I don't know, very kind of boring. Especially since she's like, she's a build that you could pretty much stand still with. So that's the you know, that's the one reason why I was like, eh, I don't really want to go with um, just constantly running her back to back to back, just because of those reasons of her just being super slow. Like she's super easy and to play with, and like we could dominate almost any freaking um, build or any island I mean but I, I just didn't want to uh, basically run it with uh, with her constantly just being like a slow character I feel like it would just get boring to watch so change it up a bit shouldn't be too bad all right that's better grab you I don't know exactly what I want to do this run. I'm, I imagine we're just gonna stick with the sword, do a do a double um, ascension with it, but we'll see. I don't see what else to run, so um, we have a couple of altars to go to. I keep getting hit. Looking at the map there. Let's run down to our. Free, uh, free altar and see what we got here. Hopefully something decent. Oh, mushroom! That is actually really good. Um, then we'll run back up here. Got Eleven points. We need more projectiles. Sure, I'll take that. That's not a bad one. That's actually a pretty good one, and that is a insane. One. Each attack increases the area 10%. Attacks backwards too, but damage is reduced. Okay, let's do longsword. I don't think we've actually done a double, uh, a double sword. I don't think. Alright, what do we got here? Stick, plus one damage, plus ten attack speed. Okay, yeah, I can take that. Almost there. Yeah, this isn't this isn't too bad. I'm not I'm not super super worried about this. Um, and we have one more altar that is way up here. Poison. Oh, the green heart one. Okay. That's not too bad. All right. Oh, 
Oh, that dropped over here. I was like looking over there near the seedling thing. I was like, where the heck is this at? Alright, there we go. Definitely once you get the sword rolling, like theme like the sword's just I don't know, I can't I can't say enough about these uh these builds. They're just they just feel so good. Strong. Alright, come up here and grab some gold and see what we got going on here. Okay. Easy walk in the park, dude. Okay. Not bad. Then we got effect props here, which isn't like something, anything super crazy for uh, this run. Gray is definitely better. I mean, there's nothing, there's nothing here that we really need, so like we can, we can just sort of just chill and just pick up XP slowly but surely. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll max this out. We'll get, max this out, of course. Um, I do want this. I'll take movement speed. Damage feels pretty good. We could just start taking hits. Okay. So we, we, we do have a good chunk of healing potions down. There's two full hearts to heal up right there. Okay. Now we have to sort of play it a little slow till we can get some more healing health pots. I mean, we are going into a shop, but we don't have a whole lot of gold, so I'd rather not, uh, rather not go into that and just blow a bunch of gold. I don't think we've taken the bear yet either, but we probably should take that at some point. And just not this run. Uh, let's go cool down. Right. Yeah, I feel I feel pretty good. I feel pretty good. I'm hoping that we can get like a good chunk of uh I, like I'm still hunting for, for seedlings. Like I wanna get as many seedlings almost as possible to just really juice up our, uh, just really juice up our, uh, meta progression. Okay. I mean, we're melting this guy, like, because that guy had, like, nothing on us. Alright, 28 points, not too bad. We could do a run where we don't get anything from this. I don't think we really need any of this either. Um, let's do this guy. Back speed, of course. We're not really running projectiles, so we don't have to worry about that. Projectiles I definitely want on Stormbringer when we do that. And I want to max out the cooldown. Um, we can ascend this guy. Maybe we max out uh, Luma speed too. That could be interesting. Oh yeah, baby, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we've ran both of them at the same time. Which swords. Because this seems pretty crazy. Wave clear seems really good. Um, let's run up here to some of the altars. Movement speed, plus 20. Yep. The only problem with this is trying to get hit. 
Like, that's gonna be tough, I feel like, now. Unless we've... Wait till the... Okay, I mean, we just got hit. But wait until the boss or something? I mean, this just soaks in all the, uh... All the potions on the map, so like it's not super good, but I mean it's still pretty decent. Um, sword, secret sword. I mean, yeah, it's it's okay. I don't think it's. I like we don't really need it for the build that we're going. It could still work though. It could still work pretty well. Okay. I'll pick this up. Alright, not bad. Like, I feel I feel really strong right now. Um, not strong enough to one-shot, like, a, a boss or anything. Um, which is a little bit of a bummer. Because, like, I still want to do that. I mean, I would say we've gotten pretty close with Astrid a couple times. Um, where we've just, like, absolutely shredded her. Um... Definitely, uh, we, we want, uh, Axeldor's ultimate for sure. We definitely want that. Okay. Okay, well that was easy. Let's run up to this one up here. Two empty red heart containers, okay. That should be fairly simple. Let's just stand here. Uh, let's max this out. And then we're definitely going to go all in on the ultimate. All in on Axeldor's ultimate because I think that's our key to, like, of course, crushing um, the bosses. Because that's, I think, what, like, one shots them essentially. So we'll run that. We could also max out um, the. Uh, Lightning armor? We, we definitely have not ran a double lightning armor run. So maybe we'll do that at some point. As well. That could be interesting. I wish it showed crates on the map. That would be huge. Or like seedling plants. Seedling plants and um, crates. Heals a full heart. I mean, we're getting quite a bit of XP. Up to eleven points. Damage, damage. Let's go with this guy since we're gonna probably upgrade that one next. All right, not too bad. Yeah, the XP is just crazy. Like, we just cannot pick it all up. Like, holy smokes, dude. And we got 18 points. Luckily those guys can't heal themselves. That'd be a problem. Okay. Yeah, I feel I feel decently strong. Ooh. Magnet ring, or uh, XP ring, let's go. That's massive.
28 points, okay. It's time. Movement speed, damage, and area. Oof. Okay, that's 200 damage. That's a little crazy. Infinity Whirlwind, tab, level 3. Okay, so we've never gotten it to level 3 before. Well, we got to level 3 now, baby. Right. Not a crazy amount of damage, but good chunk. Dang it. Let's try not to get hit. I don't know why. Okay, he's dead. We did a ton of damage there at the end. Um, stuff would be nice, but... Enemies paralyzed by this relic will explode in three more beams when dying. Hmm. Sure, I mean, I don't know how many times, like, we're actually, I mean, actually, oh yeah, I don't know how many times we're gonna actually, um, get them. Like, I don't know how often we're gonna paralyze them. I mean, with the effect prob, um... Monolith? It's like 80% right now. Like, it's very high. Like, it's almost a constant paralyzation. Alright. We'll come up here. Please give us something good. Okay, I mean, yeah, we can take that. That'll work, I guess. What is this up to? This has got to be freaking high. 62%. I wonder if we can max that out. That'd be crazy. We get enough, uh... To max that out. I mean, we could, if we can get enough health potions to drop. That'd be insane. This is kind of crazy. Okay. Well, I forgot we have the overhealing too. Okay. Like I'm just walking around kind of trying to get hit. see what happens if we can get 100% damage. I don't think, I, don't, I think this is the highest we've ever been. I think the highest before was only like 50% or something. I mean, if we took relics, of course it'd be better off, but we didn't take any from the shop, so. Other than our ascension crystals, um, so I don't know if, um, the problem is, is I don't know if, um, we're gonna have, like,
like, I think we have to leave it without the Ascension Crystal as well. To unlock that character. Which, we, we could try that in the, uh... I mean, well, the next couple of episodes are all, um... Ah, uh, man, I don't know. The next couple of episodes are all gonna be, like, expert ones, unless I run Amar Amaranth, which running Amaranth could help us, um, test that theory, because I don't, I don't think we really need Ascension Crystals for, with Amaranth, so I'll do that with her. Um, yeah, let's go another projector. Definitely want to affect Probs now. I mean, don't get me wrong, Crit would be useful as well. That's fine. Um, yeah, I'll do that. Okay. It's not a bad one. Pretty good one too. Alright, sweet. Let's try this out. <laughs> I'm not really too worried about her. I think we'll be able to shred her pretty quickly. Especially if I walk up here and just halt. Reach 250% damage in a run. 280% damage. Holy smokes, dude. Dude, the size of that ultimate is insane. Ooh, she's gonna shred us. This is probably not the best, um... Damn, dude. Okay. We can do this, we can do this, we can do this. Dang it. Come on. Oh my gosh, dude. That got a little worrisome. Yeah, I don't know about axes against ranged, um, bosses. It's a little scary. But not bad, not bad. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this episode. Not not a crazy one, but... If so, make sure you guys tap that like button down below. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Every little bit counts, and I do really appreciate it. And uh, this has been Nordic Ashes. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.